G'day guys, welcome to Rama's Fish Room. So, today I just got a little treat for you. Um, my friend Zach, I asked him how he goes about grooming his fish, because, or not grooming, training his fish to play with them, his flower horns, because I noticed when he sends me videos with his hand in the tank, he, he plays with his fish quite a bit and it looks cool and looks fun. So, he actually sent me a clip, so I'm gonna drop it here. Now keep in mind he's not a vlogger, um, but I think it's really cool video. Um, so here it goes. what do you think of that drop a comment let me know drop a comment saying thanks to Zach as well um, so this is going to be a bits and pieces video uh, first thing I need to show you guys is my light fell down all right so for those of you who haven't seen I put this light up with these new stainless steel strands but I didn't have the clips to clip the cable well now I've got the proper clips so we can put these on so it doesn't have to, it's at the moment it's resting on a box, on a, on a diagonal. So let's fix that. All right, so first of all, turn the light off. Hang on, we've got to turn some light on so we can see. Um, I got this shoe box here, but I kind of need two hands to put it under. No, I am. Hang on, I can put the camera, it's a tripod guys, we can put it down here. Ah, so, anything with this light is when you turn it off, the fans stay on. So now I'm going to cut these, this, cut some stuff off. Um, I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Alright, so just peel all this old tape off. Pretty much take it all apart because I need to get the I need to take the back side off as well because I need to get the um wait almost lost you I need to get the sleeves onto the back cable as well so it's going to be pretty much a full dissection I don't think you guys want to watch 10 minutes of me pulling tape off. We'll have a look after this, alright? Alright, so I've got these little one way clips. They might be a little bit hard to get on. There we go. Um, and then basically, these cable ties that I had on there, I'm going to put them back on because they, they were working quite well on these ends, they just weren't working well on the middle joint so we'll get that back on so that's ready to go now I'll just do the other side so now we take the shoe box out And then, how am I going to do this? I'll do this with one hand and, and the camera in my hand. So now I just pull these up and let go. And then just keep pulling them until they're the height that I want. And as they go up, they can't go back down. 
I'm not, as I said, um, as I said before, I'm not the hugest fan of these cable ties, but they seem to be working. I might get, I'll get the proper clips brackets for them eventually. So now we can turn it back on. Something about being suspended over a fish tank just seems so cool to me, like having nothing touching the tank. Um, obviously, I got the plant wall behind it, so it kind of disguises it a bit, but if I was ever to take the plant wall off, it would look wicked. But I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get rid of the plant wall, but at the moment, I still like it. Who knows? Decisions, decisions. Anyway, let's go in the fish room. I want to show you something quickly. We can cruise past the pond on the way to the fish room. Um, the water level is really low. I'm not sure if it's got a leak or whether my auto top-ups is broken. I did buy like the cheapest of all so um, tap solenoids at the big green shed. So there's a good chance that the solenoid kicked the bucket with the bit of rain we've had recently. It might have got wet inside. But it still looks good. The water's really low, but fish are happy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, probably not. The, the koi just slammed into the gl glass. Um, i just been painting up my pit bike frame. For anybody who doesn't know, I made a... Did I tell you guys? I don't know. I made a um, tow hitch carrier with uh, bird shit welds, but it's all good. I I don't trust my welding very much, so you'll see I actually checked out the steel and over overlapped it all. So even if my welds crack, it's like sitting on the tube still. But anyway, it should it should hold up. Um, Tighten the chain. Oh, I took a link off the chain on the bike and moved the front, the back wheel in because it was sitting all the way wound out and the chain was loose. Um, and I'm halfway through an oil change, but I've got to get oil. But anyway, that's another story. Let's go find what I wanted to show you. Oh, don't leave the lid off the food. Uh, I need to go to the big green shed and get some more cockroach stuff. They've started coming back. But anyway, this is what we're here for. There she is. Check it out. Dimachromis strigatus, mouthful. I've only had these guys for a week. They came from a subscriber, one of you guys. I'm not going to say his name on here, just as a bit of a privacy thing, but... <laughs> We've got the males starting to colour up, which is really cool. Um, I did sell, or not sell, I swapped one male and I can see three males in there so we've still got no shortage of males which is good and they're starting to look pretty colourful I think they're going to end up with more colour than my old dimmy comps which is cool as you guys know I am sad that I don't have dimmy comps anymore because it is my logo but Strigatus are a good substitute you could all, the untrained eye almost wouldn't actually be able to tell the difference between my logo and these guys. But I'm sure most of you would pick the difference. But anyway, that's my exciting news for the day. Um, I'm going to let her hold because they're young fish. I probably won't strip her. If I do strip her, nah, I, I'm just not going to strip her. I'm not in a rush to get fry out of her. Oh, and just quickly before we end the video. I pulled this guy out of a tub the other day, yesterday. He is insane. Um, he's still skittish. Like, see how these guys like sit at the front? He's not going to do that just yet because he came out of a tub. But see how this guy is like half the size of this guy? This guy is more developed than this guy. So he's a smaller fish. Um, they're brothers, so he's younger, but. He's, he's insane. He's the best fish I've bred. But best flower horn I have personally bred, I reckon. Easy. Um, these are all nice, but this one, it's a, 
like I said, it, it's younger, or it's the same age, it's less it's less developed so it's it's not the runt of the litter it's like middle and Brett and Zach always told me the best flower horns come from the middle of the batch not the runts but not the fast growers and I definitely think that's true because a couple of the ones that have really grown fast have been pretty crappy um, I culled one yesterday out of the IBC and it was a bit bigger than this guy here. And it was the ugliest flower horn I've ever bred, I reckon. <laughs> I know I shouldn't say that, but man, it was ugly. But yeah, that. I've got my money on this guy right here. I might even move him over so he's got the bigger bay. But at the moment, that's probably the best bay for him. That's the cleanest water, I guess. Got the most flow because it's got the, the filter in there. But I'm excited about this fish. Watch this space, guys. That's going to be a wicked fish. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Wow, can you guys see the sweat on my forehead? Um, it's a pretty warm afternoon and also a warm fish room. Um, if you like this video, guys, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit the little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.